In this world, where a lot of people are living in cities that don't quite deal with these invasive species. This is the invasion of the invasive species. So, sir, what do you know about invasive species? Well, I know that an invasive species is a type of uh, life form or organism that came to an area of land that it wasn't originally at, and it got there by some sorts in a possible way, like for instance, a zebra mussel came to uh, American waters via um, the boats of sorts. Mr. White, what do you know of invasive species? Well, I know of box elder beetles. You see, a box elder beetle, while not being of much danger to humans, they are quite a nuisance and they release an awful stench. Although this may seem fine, they are a danger to box elder, maple, ash, and some fruit trees. The box elders will cause deformities in fruit and leaf color. Hi, old man Willis. What do you know about invasive species? They be blocking me ship and getting caught in me motor. And whenever I wade in the waters, I step on them spiky nuts. Ah, you're talking about water chestnuts. Sure am, lad. Water chestnuts, or their scientific name, Tropa natans, originated from Africa and Asia. They were later introduced to southeastern American ecosystems in the 1870s. They would reach the northeast in the early 19s and flourish. A water chestnut is structured so it has the nut at the bottom of the plant, and it has a stem that connects to leaves. The water chestnut plants itself in bodies of water and will regrow in the spring. The reason water chestnuts are bad is they can block boaters. Because they take up loads of space and use space that other native plants could be using, which reduces an ecosystem's biodiversity. Another negative impact of water chestnuts is that when it decomposes, it raises levels of decomposed oxygen in the water which impacts other aquatic organisms and has potential to kill fish. So uh, I enjoy fishing, but I have a big problem with these uh, zebra mussels. I don't quite know what they do. Could you explain? So uh, it's actually a good thing that you asked me that. Uh, zebra mussels is an invasive spe aquatic species, sorry. Uh, that when in waters, they eat algae that the normal fish would eat. This can be very harmful to certain ecosystems that rely on those fish and the algae. Hello, sir. What do you know about invasive species? Yes, in fact, I do. There's one I absolutely hate. It's called a phragmite. I have them in all in my stream near my house, and they always disrupt the stream and make water flow in my yard. Phragmites came from the Middle East when a 19th century boat inadvertently brought it to America. Phragmites affect the environment by disrupting stream flow because of their thick stems. They reproduce very fast and take over wetland killing the ecosystems and because they don't have any natural predators they continue to thrive oh, little farmer jim what do you know about invasive species well i know that they're all over on my farm and whenever i try to take them out i get these nasty burns on my arms and heads and they're just very annoying man uh, when I find some in my farm away, I said that. Uh, luckily, I hear that New York, though, is going to try to uh, uh, get rid of them to the best of their abilities, man. So, sir, what do you know about stink bugs? Well, I may not come after them at often. I do know that they are almost everywhere in New York. Oh, gosh, I deal with them all on almost a daily basis. They're everywhere. And I just always got to, you know, like, get them and smash them up, and I'm done with them at that point, but... They're everywhere. Oh golly, them stink bugs. They're all over my farm and my barns. I have to pick them out and they're just so annoying because they're stenches. And the stink bug is considered an invasive species because it consumes produce that leaves scars or pits, rendering them useless for processing. Stink bugs are hard to control because they have a resistance to most pesticides and can reproduce asexually and consistently during the months of May through September. 
Another issue of stink bugs that many people face is their living spaces in home. When fall comes around, stink bugs find shelter in the cover of your own home. They will usually find shelter in small crevices in your home, such as windows, in confined spaces, and warm areas. I hope you enjoyed this project. If you wish to know more about this topic, please check the description for our sources.